Did you know that your MetaMask wallet is compatible with over 20 different blockchain networks? That's true, MetaMask is not only compatible to Ethereum, but to many other EVM compatible blockchains. EVM stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine, and it's basically a standard that is used by developers to deploy smart contracts. So the same smart contract that you can deploy on Ethereum, you can also deploy on Binance Smart Chain, Polygon and many others. But in this video, I want to show you actually how to add these other EVM compatible blockchains to your MetaMask wallet. I will show you the step by step and you'll see how easy it is to make your MetaMask compatible with over 20 different networks. In the video description below, you will also find a link where you can find the details to configure multiple networks, including ESW, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Phantom, Harmony, Optimism, Chronos, Aurora, Celo, Moonbeam, Fusion, EOS, Ethereum Classic, Doge, Chain, Oasis, Aster, Moonriver, RSK, Boba, Neon, and Platin. Woo! These are a lot of networks, but I'm sure this will be very, very useful to help you to make your MetaMask wallet compatible with all these networks. By the way, if you like this content, give it a like and subscribe. It will really help with the YouTube algorithm to make sure that you don't miss any content. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so always double check from where you are getting the information. In this case, I came to the ETHW Medium blog and I'm going to copy this mainnet info to configure ETHW in this case in our MetaMask. The process will be pretty much the same to all the other networks and you can find the link in the resources section. But basically here on the MetaMask, as you saw, I click add network and now you have here the network name that you need to copy and you will have basically to copy paste all this information. The RPC URL also copy to add to the MetaMask network, the chain ID, and by the way, always double check all this information. Also, let's copy the currency symbol, which in this case is ETHW. And finally, you will need to copy the block explorer. And again, in the video description, you will be able to find a link where you can find information to configure over 20 different networks other than ETHW in your MetaMask. So double check everything and go ahead and click Save. And as you will see, I will automatically see in this case that I have 0.56 ETHW because of the ETHW fork in this case. So it automatically shows that I have this amount of Ether. And you can switch between networks. So I just switch to the Ethereum network mainnet and I can switch back again to ETHW or to any other networks that you have also configured in your MetaMask wallet. So this is basically how simple it is. And in this uh, ETHW specific case, now you will be able to transfer the ETHW balance to any other place, including other wallets or to a third party exchange. All right, I'm pretty sure that after watching this video, you are pretty confident on how to add different networks to MetaMask, including ETHW. Finally, always double check, triple check all the information and make sure that you are getting the information to configure the new network on your MetaMask wallet from a reliable source. And also, by the way, never connect your wallet to websites that you are not sure of its origin. Never send Ether or any other cryptocurrency to people that you don't know. And please keep your wallet secure and make sure that you have the backup of your wallet. All right, that's all for this video. If you liked the video, give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow.